National reactions. David Cameron, the Prime Minister of former colonial power Britain, calling to congratulate Modi. Pakistan's Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif hailing an impressive victory. Joining us now, France Van Ketz, Delano de Souza. Delano, it's really all eyes on Washington because yes. there's been this travel ban on Modi because of uh, that intercommunal violence in 2002. That's right, Francois. Although Modi has had visa bans enforced for the better part of a decade by the UK, the EU, and the US, the UK and EU have lifted their visa bans between 2012 and 2013. But the visa ban to the US still remains in place. Um, this week, though, however, the White House and the State Department have come out and said the, the US is willing to work with whoever the Indian people choose. So many say it's many analysts say it's very unlikely the visa visa ban will remain in place, given the friendly nature of ties between the US and India. Modi Narendra Modi is expected to to visit the US later this year for the UN General Assembly. Um, now, what will be interesting to see is how the boycott by the West for all these years of Narendra Modi will shape Indian po foreign policy from here on out, given the prominence the country has had in global bodies like the World Trade Organization and the G20, and the friendly relations Prime Minister Manmohan Singh has had with global leaders like uh, uh, US President Barack Obama. Will Modi automatically forgive and forget the boycott once he becomes prime minister? Well, well that remains to be seen. Uh, since Modi is closely linked with the Hindu nationalist group, the RSS, many expect he will have a look east policy and, uh, you know, strengthen ties with China and Japan. All right, Delano Souza, who will be paying careful attention to the wording of the State Department communiques this Friday Definitely. when it comes uh, to India. Thanks for, for joining us.